This video is sponsored by WP Forms, the most beginner friendly drag and drop form builder for WordPress. Hey guys, my name is Christian Taylor. Welcome back to Crayler Made, where I like to talk all things branding, marketing, and entrepreneurship. Today I'm taking a look at Divi to answer the question Is it really worth the price? It's been a while since I looked at an Elegant Themes product, but I actually started my WordPress journey many years ago using an Elegant Themes subscription. Back in the day, they used to offer dozens of themes for an annual fee, and you could just pick the theme that best suited your website. Since then, Elegant Themes has continued their subscription model, but they've scaled down mainly to their flagship theme, Divi. Divi is a super theme on steroids. Not only does it have hundreds of demo layouts and website packs, it's also a proprietary WYSIWYG page builder. You can use the Divi theme, which uses the Divi page builder, or you can use the Divi page builder plugin with any WordPress theme. For $89 a year or $249 lifetime, you'll gain access to Divi and the other Elegant Themes products, which we'll touch on later. My experience with Divi was relatively positive. It's definitely a top tier super theme that I respect. It features a high quality backend that is intuitive to edit once you get past the initial learning curve. After installing, you'll want to refer to the Divi documentation to learn the ropes of importing website layouts and using the backend. The great thing about Divi is that it's a widely popular and supported theme, so you can find tons of articles and YouTube videos on how to use it. You can also reach out to Divi's support team, which is pretty responsive and offers 24-7 chat support. They advertise a reply time of a few hours, but for basic questions and inquiries, I usually get a reply in just a few minutes. Go on their site and try it. I think you'll be surprised at how quickly they respond. The Divi Page Builder offers a front-end visual builder similar to what you'd get with Wix or Squarespace, and you can also access a traditional back-end block builder if you enable the WordPress Classic Editor. If you want that WYSIWYG experience of editing a page visually, typing right into the controls, and dragging elements around, I think Divi is a great page builder. I enjoyed using the front-end editor much more than I enjoy the front-end editor on WP Bakery, but if you want to use the back-end editor, I wouldn't recommend Divi. I find that it's really hard to follow without having previews of what each element is like you would have with WP Bakery, and it's a frustrating experience. I'm looking at text, 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 image, not knowing what block of text or what image I'm working with, and it just makes me want to rip my hair out. So I would stick to the front-end editor if you're going to use Divi. Speaking of frustrating experiences, the header system is is atrocious in Divi. With most themes, you would edit the header styling in the theme's main settings panel. With Divi, the header is 100% customizable. You can change every element and make a completely custom header and footer. I really appreciate the flexibility, but Divi's implementation of layout imports simply doesn't make any sense. When you import a page layout with demo content, the header doesn't change. It stays as the default Divi page header from years past, and the only way to get a similar looking header is to search the Elegant Themes website for free header packs, find one that looks like it fits the style, download the template, and import it to the header section of the back end. If this sounds confusing, it is. I actually bought a header pack on the Elegant Themes website, so I have a lot of header styles to choose from, and I'm not stuck hunting down free headers here and there on the Elegant Themes blog. But there should be free header styles that ship with the theme and match the demo page layout. This is hands down the most frustrating part of Divi. I don't think it's a deal breaker, but it's a wacky learning curve to overcome. Divi does have a marketplace on their website, and everything available is from third-party developers. You can find extensions, child themes, and layouts. It blows my mind that Divi is a big enough theme to where they have their own in-house marketplace for third-party extensions. It's like you can buy a theme for your theme, and that's why Divi is a page builder just as much as it's a WordPress theme. As mentioned earlier, you can upload the Divi page builder plugin to other themes and get the same WYSIWYG page building experience on any WordPress site. And that means you can easily drag and drop elements onto any page, just like building a contact form with today's sponsor, WP Forms. WP Forms is the most popular and beginner friendly drag and drop form builder for WordPress. I like WP Forms because it's effortless to create forms with no coding required. They call it stupid simple, but it's not just simple, it's powerful. Do you need to easily acquire signatures, securely accept payments or donations, hide or show fields based on a person's selection? Do you need to follow up with people who started filling out your form but abandon it before submitting it? 
WP Forms can help you do this and much more. So join the over 4 million users who use WP Forms to take the pain out of building online forms. Go to WPForms.com or visit the link in the description below to get started today. Thanks to WP Forms for supporting the channel, and now let's explore some of the added bonus items that come with Divi. Also included in your Elegant Themes account is access to Extra, their magazine theme useful for blogs and news publications. It's built using the Divi page builder, so the experience is much the same as the Divi theme. You also get access to two Elegant Themes plugins, Bloom and Monarch. Bloom is an email opt-in and lead generation plugin similar to Sumo or Optin Monster. Monarch is a social media sharing plugin that puts a share call to action on your post in various spots. These plugins can both be installed on any WordPress website, including sites that don't use Divi, and they can also be installed on unlimited WordPress sites. I'm not gonna focus too much on these bonus items in this video, but I wanted to mention them because it is a value add. Speaking of value, is Divi actually worth the cost? I happen to think Divi is one of the best values out there of any WordPress theme, and let me explain why. So typically when you go to build a WordPress website, you'd look on a marketplace like ThemeForest to find a theme. You can expect to pay a $60 one-time fee for one license to the particular theme, and you'll get six months of support from the developer. After that, the developer has every right to charge you for a new support plan, and you'll have to buy a license to use the theme on every website you install it on. So if you have two websites, that's $120, three websites is $180, and so on. Divi is different. For $89 a year or $249 for life, Divi offers installs on unlimited websites and ongoing support. If you subscribe to the yearly plan, you would have support and updates for as long as you're subscribed. If you cancel your subscription, you would lose access to support and updates, but you can continue to use the last version of Divi installed on your sites from before the plan expired in perpetuity. With the lifetime plan, you will get customer support and updates to Divi forever. Not to mention it can be used on unlimited sites. $249 can seem like a big price to swallow, and I'm not suggesting you go out and buy Divi if it's out of your price range. But if you're thinking it's expensive, think about a site like Squarespace or Wix where you're paying a monthly fee for every site you create in perpetuity. Operate two Squarespace sites and you're paying around $300 a year just to keep them running. With Divi, your only ongoing cost to run your websites is web hosting. Get a server from a host like Cloudways, and for $10 a month, you could easily host five plus WordPress websites with no problems. And you might be wondering, what are the odds that Divi is even gonna be around in five years? If I purchase a lifetime subscription, is that even sustainable for elegant themes? What if they pack up shop a year from now? I can tell you that's not gonna happen. Elegant Themes has been a persistent player in the WordPress theme industry for years. And being that they were using the subscription and the lifetime purchase business model when I used their themes many years ago, it's safe to say they aren't going anywhere. I used Elegant Themes before Divi was even cool and they've preserved their level of support, high quality themes and great value over the years. So in the end, I think Divi is a great fit for two use cases. First, beginners who are looking for a powerful WYSIWYG WordPress theme that's got a ton of tutorials online to help you get started, not to mention high quality customer support. But Divi can also be a great fit for users needing a repeatable model to make WordPress websites affordably and efficiently. I said this in my video exploring the best WordPress themes. You should pick one to two credible super themes and master them. Whether you're doing a lot of websites for yourself or you're doing freelance web design, you should become an expert with one to two powerful, flexible, widely supported WordPress themes and get as fast with it as possible so you can crank out websites, one after another after another. So if you're getting into freelancing or you're just the type of person who has a bunch of website projects you're always working on, the lifetime Divi plan is widely enticing. You are allowed to use it on client websites. So for a one-time $249 fee, you can use Divi again and again and again, and neither you nor nor your client will ever have to pay a dime for further access. Is Divi the most impressive WordPress theme I've ever tried? 
No, I'd say it's about in line with Salient, Aveda, and other super themes I've tried. They all have their strengths and weaknesses, but Divi is no slouch. I've seen some really clean websites built with Divi, and if you're considering it for your website, I highly recommend it. Be sure to check out the Elegant Themes site for sales using the link below, as sometimes they are running deals on both yearly subscriptions and lifetime subscriptions. Also be sure to check out WP Forms and try it on your website using the link in the description below. So what do you think of Divi? Would you use it on your WordPress website? I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments down below, and if you like this video, do be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you don't miss when I release new videos. With that said, I will catch you guys next time.